Are you wondering how you can lock a workspace so that way no one can see any boards within that workspace? Let me show you how you can easily do this. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Here you can see I have a workspace called Projects that has a lock on it, which means that it's locked and no one can access it unless I give them access. So this is called a closed workspace within Monday.com and I want to show you how you can do this. Unfortunately, this feature is only relevant for people on the enterprise plan. So you cannot do it if you're on the pro plan or below. There are some other ways to do something similar, but not just simply lock a workspace. So first let's start off on the enterprise plan and I'll show you how to do this. All you need to do is you need to open your workspace homepage, click on these three dots and you can see change workspace type. You can either go to a closed workspace or an open workspace. An open workspace, everyone can see it. A closed workspace, no one can see it unless you share it with them. Now, the way that you would share it with them is you click on members and then you add members here. So here you can see that I'm the only member of this workspace. You also can make people owners of the workspace by changing this crown to on or off. That would make them an owner or not. Now, if you're not on the enterprise plan within Monday.com, what you can do is you can can hide all the boards, meaning you can have private boards or shareable boards and only share certain teams on those boards. So you would have the exact same effect as a closed workspace. Unfortunately, it's not as easy to do because you need to do it for every single board and people will still be able to see the name of the workspace. They just won't be able to access it. So if this is something that's really important to your company when you're using monday.com, I do recommend that you look into using enterprise and feel free to be in touch if I can help get you started. And then you'll have this feature with just a simple click of a button. If not, there's a workaround that I previously mentioned. So good luck. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.